All right, guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about picking the right product layout for your Shopify store. So if you're using a theme like this, you can have the ability to have numerous different types of product layouts. And keep in mind that your product layout is going to have different features based on the actual product. So, excuse me, based on the theme that you're using. So in this case, we're using, for example, product layout version 6. This theme has six different versions. We're using the Wolf of Shopify theme 3.0 Classic. Not the Alpha Wolf theme, right? But the Wolf of Shopify 3.0 Classic. It's the cheaper theme. It's $125. You can get it for 10% off. Use code APEX. You guys know the deal, okay? But really what this tutorial is about is me showing you the, how to set up and configure your different uh, experiences here for your Shopify theme, okay? So you could take a look here and you could see that this theme, the product page currently looks like this. This is product version six. We can go over here to let's start from the top product version one, hit save, and we'll wait until it saves everything just so we can see the new updated version. So you can see here an, an image, two other images, which are also known as the thumbnail images down here. Uh, you could see there's uh, the, the uh, breadcrumb up here, right? We can, go ahead and switch back to version 6 so we can see the difference right version 1 then version 6 right so there is is slightly a little bit of a difference and sometimes you'll find some certain circumstances where there's a little bit of difference and you can see here description reviews custom tab 1 custom tab 2 okay if we go to let's say product version 3 for example see how everything changes now the images are stacked up on top of each other we could actually just hit save to get the full experience and as I'm scrolling, you could see here that the right text stays where it is. So the more images there are, this will keep scrolling and this will stay here exactly where it is. So that's product version three. Here we have product version two. Okay, so let's wait for that for a second. And you can notice a small difference. The, the images, the thumbnail images are to the left and they're encased with this black frame almost, right? And that's kind of how it's set up, right? Now we have product version 4, for example. And we could save for product version 4. There are also some mechanical differences. So you could see here with product version 4, the images are sitting at the top, right? And the text is at the bottom, or the text is right under the images. If we look at a different product that can actually showcase this with more images to it, uh, let's find a product, let's say, with more than two images. Let's see. So this image, or this product has three images, and we could actually go ahead and view this in the browser to get the full experience. So let's go to tops here. Let's select the product. And you could see here, this is the full experience. We have image here, image here, image here, right? and we have the text here now notice if i click add to cart it just simply adds the product to the cart this is on version i believe version 4 or version 3 let's see what version is this version 4 but if i go to product version 1 for example and hit save okay let's wait for that and let's refresh this page we're at product version 1 right now if we hit add to cart it also hit adds to cart but it has this little pop-up now that shows you what's in the cart with a little upsell and all that kind of stuff um, I already showed in one of my last videos how to configure this section here but this is the point and the point is is that different uh, layouts and different things come with different features so what you're gonna want to do with your Shopify store is you're gonna want to logically think what's gonna work best for you in your circumstance if you have no upsells you want to reduce customer friction maybe version number four would be the most optimal for you because you don't want any pop-ups or anything like that but maybe you want pop-ups and you have a whole bunch of different products to sell and so maybe version one would be better for you <clears throat> different circumstances uh, for different folks okay so <clears throat> there's not one that's better than the other excuse me there's not one that's better than the other they're simply different you're going to have to select what's the most optimal for you okay um, if I was selling like a store with let's just say I had two three products I'd probably pick version number four over any of these if I have a collection of different clothing kind of like the store here I pick probably any other one right so this is there's not one that's better than the other just circumstances are simply different and that's all it is all right so uh thank you guys for watching and let's move on to the next episode